Six years ago, one in ten people were the victim of violence in Belgium, and among them, six times more women than men. In 2013, 162 people lost their lives from domestic violence, but these only represent the tip of the iceberg. Each year, no less than 34% remain silent. We can't just carry on turning a blind eye. This truth must come to light. The Brussels Regional Public Service for Gender Equality therefore asked us to launch an awareness campaign about domestic violence in the capital city. And on the 18th of November, during the press conference, we engaged the citizens in the guerrilla process. 162 volunteers from all nationalities or regions took part were human domino. Each volunteer represented one of the 162 victims. During the happening, they made themselves fall one by one, a powerful symbolic message to raise public awareness concerning the shocking number of victims in the previous year. This strong and emotional scenography was used to strike the Brussels population with a memorable image. This allowed to raise their awareness concerning the issue of escalating violence, but it also encouraged them in reporting such offences. This guerrilla action kicked off a striking billboard campaign across Brussels, supported by a strong visual depicting an injured face with a confronting message, at first, only the words hurt. In addition, an impactful website highlighted an agenda of important events, emergency numbers, and above all, useful explanations concerning facts and progressive levels of domestic violence. Once the media got hold of the story, no less than 46 articles were published in the days following the launch. Social media also played a vital role in the dissemination of the message. In only a few days, the campaign got more than 2,580 Facebook fans. The video of the event got more than 91,000 views in only two weeks. It was shared 200 times and reached more than 290,000 people. The call to action on the video's packshot consisted in taking part in the bus Orange the World. The objective of this hashtag was to highlight the strong mobilization for this cause. But it was more than web users who got involved. It was extremely important for me, as a secretary of Equality and Chance, to work on this theme. We had chosen, on one hand, to work with a campaign, but on the other hand, to liberate also the means to support the associative world. And so I am persuaded that it will be contribute to make the number of women, at least I hope, of violence against women. Pour femmes. To bring this campaign to a close, a conference was organized to expose and debate on the issues of psychological, physical and sexual violence. Six professional speakers took part in the debate with 76 representatives from associations and institutions. A powerful message, an in-depth look into how these issues emerge and can be alleviated, and an important mobilization despite the level 4 security alert at the time. All these elements contributed to achieve our goals. At first, only the words hurt, but now everybody knows.